craziness is not nothing bad. That's something excellent. You know, you should always uh, go for for the highest ceiling uh, you can reach. Uh, and even if you uh, uh, don't think that is reachable, uh, think the unthinkable. That's the first thing. On the other side, and this is the contrary of, of, of the medal, keep your balance sheet and your finance in order and your administration. Don't uh, uh, overestimate uh, and uh, um, also keep your timetable in line. The advantage uh, of uh, these incubation activities run by ESA that we are not only giving financial support for the business plan and, and, and helping to develop that, it's the unique capabilities of our engineers and our test centers we have here. You know, space is addressing certain uh, 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 technologies which are really on the limit. It has to be light, it has to be robust, it has to be remote, you can't repair it, it has to be energy uh, uh, consumption, has to be controlled. So all subjects what we have at the moment in the market, so uh, these companies can consultate uh, these uh, engineers and, and sh we can share our know-how as same as our test centers and facilities we have and I think that's quite unique in Europe therefore we believe that's a perfect place to, to support business ideas coming from startups. First the European taxpayer has invested a lot of money in the space program and this is a part where we can give back the, uh, to the citizens in uh, 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 at least a small share of, of their investment into normal daily life application. And I think this is a quite unique way to, to, to show what, how the space program is also beneficial for Europe.